Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Haul O'Clock with two packages from Bricklink.com. Lovely. Well, sorry I've been away for a little bit. Uh, no one is more frustrated about that than me, uh, very unpredictably, unfortunately. Uh, but where we left off, uh, I think we were due a haul, so that's where I'm restarting. Uh, you can see I have still been buying in the intervening period, so uh, yeah, not all is a disaster. Uh, but yeah, we've got two packages from Bricklink, so let's get into the first one straight away without any further ado. Uh, how do I do this? I'll just cut through the ah, brute force, I think. Oh, there we go. Found the seam. Uh, so I usually write a little reminder on for each of my orders, as you may know. Ooh. And this one, the thing that I wrote on my... Uh, 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 is that just packaging? On my little list. Yep. Yeah. A nice recycled Lego box there. Uh, was... What did I write on this? Uh, power functions lights, and we can see them on the top because they're getting increasingly hard to get hold of. Uh, this was, well, pretty much the only vendor in the entire of the UK that had some of these uh, and had them for a decent price. And they look, although used, in very good condition indeed. Wow. Sometimes you get things used and they're covered in dust and <laughs> chew marks and goodness knows what. But I mean, these have still got their sort of rigidity to them. I mean, they're almost sort of wanting to coil up like they were still in the packet. That one's slightly less so, but you know, it's in very good condition. Uh, so I better get my battery box just to check that they are working because it's <laughs> nothing uh, if they don't work. So there we go, there's one working. Let's add the other one on the top. Yeah, and that's working as well. So we've got four sets of working uh, lights or four working lights. Uh, and well, I've got a couple of options with these. Uh, we've got locomotive uh, options for the future, uh, but also I could power the lights of that second blue tram, of course, uh, on our line. It seems a bit excessive to put a battery box in there just for some lights, but you know, it isn't parked up there on a siding as some people have uh, suggested. It is actually sort of waiting ready to go because that track that stops at my standing hole is supposed to continue dot, dot, dot. Uh, through where I actually stand. So this gives me a few future options. And the other reason why I bought these was because, well, there were four pounds each from this vendor and the rest of them were all about seven to 10 pounds. Uh, and there's only 12 available in the whole of the UK. Uh, and that's the second reason really, because they're getting just so rare. If I don't get them now, I probably won't be able to ever in the future. And since everything I do is on power functions, just because of that controllability, and the fact that you can stack all these so they're, uh, uh, the lights are permanently on when the motor's not on and so on on trains, means that, well, I just need to <laughs> hoard as many as I can. <laughs> That's my excuse. Anyway, so as usual, once I've got those secured, uh, I tried to go through every single category of that store to get what else was available and good value or interesting. And the first thing I've got is these corner burps, big ugly rock pieces, because uh, I'm going to need loads of these in my cabinet. I do actually have quite a lot. I've got a bit of a cardboard box going, actually, which is probably about sort of that big uh, on each of its horizontal sides and about that tall. And it's absolutely full. In fact, the lid won't close, partially because they don't stack very well. But I really think I'm going to be using a mountain of them. Uh, no pun intended, uh, on all the back of my deep sea cabinet, of course, and uh, in my mine scene underneath uh, the table level of uh, Brick Nottingham, which I'm kind of really, uh, I've been using some of this off time to really try and think more broadly of that, because I want to flip all the buildings around like my jazz club so we can see that new sign and so on. I think that back corner that we haven't developed next to the fairground and sort of near the um, uh, police station and so on. I'm I'm really thinking of a massive sort of reworking of my plans, which means it might affect the mine underneath it and so on. But anyway, that's uh, in progress. So expect some more umming and ahhing when it comes to that sort of area uh, and more news on that in future weeks. But this is obviously a very multicolored bag of all sorts of other interesting stuff. Uh, so I can't resist these two whenever I see them. Uh, just because, well, I perceived that I'd only ever have one from my actual set of the roller coaster, 10261, which is that uh, red one from 2018. Uh, but I thought I'd definitely put these on my list to look at for more. And since then, uh, I think this is my fourth one of those or third one that I've bought and, and my second or third one of these, because I thought it'd be nice to have the same map uh, spread around my 
uh, fairground because I do have the Ferris wheel, I do have the carousel, and I do have the roller coaster. So I thought it was really, really appropriate. So having a few of those around my fairground would be good. And obviously those for my rides as well as the sort of more uh, ruler type ones that I've got. I mean, these ones are better, let's face it. So I've been buying those whenever I see them. I've probably got enough now. I mean, you don't need more than about four of those and three of those, I don't think. So there we go. So I can probably take those off the list. But knowing me, I'll probably buy more because, yep, I've got an addiction. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is quite interesting. Now, you might think this torso and dress piece are pretty standard from the uh, spider lady in series 14 but they're actually subtly different that was all in red detail this is the sort of magenta pink version with gray spiders on that was part of the builder minifigure wall uh, a few years back uh, i didn't buy it at the time because i mean there's so many halloween things but these were quite well priced uh, so i thought well i don't have it so i'll buy it it's sort of completion <laughs> completionist sort of collection so that's why i only bought the relevant parts for me um yeah i'm not too excited about that to be fair but i thought i'd get it because it was there uh here we go this is interesting somebody suggested i buy this uh when i was doing my vinyl record store as part of my mall uh, because the only record they said that I didn't seem to have was the Minecraft one. And because I don't know a thing about Minecraft, don't know anything, uh, I didn't even know there was one for, for Minecraft. So this came in two sets, like 21189, the Skeleton Dungeon from 2022. Uh, and I'm even more confused, if anything. So we've got a very pixelated record, but the record is still round. So why the middle has to be blocky doesn't make too much sense. <laughs> should all be blocky but it should be square shouldn't it and it should also be square because it should be in its cover because uh why a skeleton would have uh, a vinyl record i don't know uh why they would keep it in their dungeon i don't know but worst of all why would they keep it out of its sleeve just in a treasure chest i mean it's going to get scratched to anything so yeah uh, i'm very confused even more by minecraft uh, than i was before so yeah congrats for that so i don't think that really shouts record to me uh, it almost shouts a sort of a green BDI looking at you in the darkness if we had another one. Uh, I don't think it really goes with my record store. But anyway, uh, I now own one. So <laughs> thanks for prompting me uh, about that. Here's another stickered piece, uh, a surfboard for my collection. Yes, my name is Robin and I'm a brick addict. I have many, many collections. Uh, this one came from 41364, Stephanie's Buggy and Trader from 2019. Uh, and it seems that most of the new skateboard stickers and surfboard stickers now are coming in friend sets, which makes it even harder for me to get hold of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is quite a nice one. Uh, I've got quite a few surfers on my beach and I've got a surfboard shop full of surfboards, but maybe I'll just have to try and jam one more in because I do quite like that one's pattern. And I'll probably have to move uh, the stickers using my patented hot tea technique. Yeah. So there we go. That's very nice. I like that. Uh, so we've got loads of lavender tentacles. You can imagine that they're for under the sea. A couple of uh, red bamboo pieces. There are some red bricks, just these plates, pretty ordinary stuff. And this very interesting shaped tile because I am going to be doing something train related. It's kind of an existing build, uh, like a, an official build, but I'm going to be making it even better. Oh, and these are part of that as well. So it's just a few pieces that I'd either run out of or needed new uh, these tiles so this person had all of those that really helped a couple more of these connection pieces in technic for the um big oil pipeline that's uh, going from the oil rig in my deep sea cabinet some orange fish were keenly priced headlight bricks in yellow can't remember what they're for oh i think they might be for a power minus set and a couple in gray can't remember them either uh, then we've got these ATMs, which I really like these. I mean, I, I've got my Asteroid Bank ATMs, but I think these are the next best thing for maybe a competing bank brand, just because it's got that sort of very bank-like symbol on the screen and the buttons and where you put your card in and where you get cash out. I suppose uh, ATMs are becoming less relevant nowadays. But uh, anyway, uh, these were only in two sets, including the Quickie Mart from The Simpsons, 71016, which is a set from 2015. Uh, on the inside, you can see that part of the easy money uh, sort of ATM machine. So I like those. I've got a few of those. I've probably got enough of those as well. <laughs> oh, I've got three. Look, I must have enough now. I'm not going to have that many ATMs 
uh, in my city, given that everyone, including minifigures, now pays for everything uh, using a card, touch and go sort of thing. Uh, I've got the backs of a couple of books because I keep buying the covers for those Nexo Night ones. And I think they're gold back, but there's a couple that I want to have uh, with brown backs. So that's that. Uh, more tentacle pieces and stuff like that from the sea in yellow. These are actually pipe pieces in yellow. They look quite good, actually, even on their own. So just a few leaves at the top and there'd be a very sort of narrow stemmed plant or something like that. All over the Silent Mary on that... Um, uh, big feature level of my deep sea cabinet. Uh, another thing for the cabinet was actually this drill. I mean, it's quite a common piece, but not in this uh, medium azure, or is it dark azure? It's hard to tell when it's a drill. Uh, I'm going to say it's medium azure. And um, that was so it'd stand out more because I've got that robot, uh, deep sea diver robot holding a drill. But when it's black and the hand's black and the arm is black of it and everything's black, um, basically having a nice medium azure one will make it stand out a lot more. So I'll probably switch that out straight away. Another tile there. Can't remember what that's for. That looks pretty old and stained. It might just be dirty. Uh, a couple of plates. Some heads. Now these are, I think, all the same. Yep, there's three of them. I just wanted them because uh, there's... Oh, they're different. No, they're, they're just different sides of the same one. Uh, I just liked it as an interesting female face because you don't get many of them. So somebody who's having a great time there and somebody who's having a pretty good time there, actually. So... Yeah, I like those. Uh, they are quite hard to come by, this specific one, just because they were part of a, a series minifigure. The um, Lego Movie 2 figure, the Crayon Girl. Uh, I remember that minifigure. And I've got it, but I, d I don't remember the character in the film. But and the, then again, I only really watched that film once. So anyway, it's a really nice head uh, and it was keenly prized. So I got all they had, three of those. Another little plant in bright pink or... I think that's actually old pinks. So it's probably like sort of uh, Paradisa pink or whatever you call that uh, for Under the Sea. This is quite interesting. So this is a bionicle piece, as you can probably imagine. It's a great big sort of targeting system for a great big gun, presumably, with a connection point here. And that looks like it'd be connectable to a bar piece. Let's just try that there. Yep, that works there. So we've got two connection points. And obviously it's uh, for, well, aiming something at it. It doesn't have to be a gun, but it could be, uh, I don't know, a telescope or something like that. But uh, I think I'll be using it as a gun because, well, guess who would have a massive targeting, targeting system for a massive gun? Yes, the super secret police. I think that uh, doesn't surprise you at all. Uh, anyway, this came on three different sets, including 8995, Thornatus V9 uh, from 2009. And wow, what is that? That is absolutely massive by the looks of things. If it's got a whole Bionicle character riding in it, uh, and what is that track at the back? Oh, no, no, no. It's a big wheel, isn't it? Wow. That is quite a cool set, I imagine, if you're a Bionicle person. I'm not, but I like the targeting system. And on that, that's right at the front middle, uh, obviously, to fire all his weapons. But I think the SSP will like that a great deal. And maybe my upcoming SSP big build are managed to attach this to. Because we've got that brand new sort of insectoid uh, thing with all the sound patterns on. Uh, I don't know if it'll attach to that one very well, but um, we're going to have more than one massive gun, so <laughs> I've got options. <laughs> so that'll be good to play around with and use. Uh, and it's sort of in a pearly silver colour, so it should go anywhere. Uh, I've got a couple of these smoke pieces. They first came out in white uh, sort of cloud pieces as part of those uh, Monkey Kid sets, but now we're getting them in, in trans purple and this trans bright green which isn't trans neon green, unfortunately, but it's still pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I mean, it's been chemical sort of smoke out of a Harry Potter set, and it's also been in set 10790, Green Goblin's Lighthouse from 2023, coming out the back of the Green Goblin's um, glider thingy. Uh, maybe I should replace my lighthouse with that little one. Or oh, maybe not. Anyway, um, yeah, ideas for this one, really. I just thought it was an interesting piece. Uh, it could almost come out the back of a <laughs> gas guzzler car or something. But then again, it does sort of shout that it should come from something that Dr. Inferno is involved with, or maybe antimatter. Don't know. So, I mean, it could go under the sea, but they're a bit too similar. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if they look that plant-like, even if they are green. So, yeah, ideas for that one, please. Uh, I think that's about all the interesting pieces. No, we have a 2x2 two two tile. 
to build or not to build. That is from the Lego movie William Shakespeare character, of course. Uh, and I think when I got my one of those, he didn't have this tiles, which is why it was on my list. So I already always needed this. And I think he's also on my boardwalk uh, as an actor sort of reading, well, probably this. So I could actually either attach this to his plinth or, I don't know, maybe he'll hold it instead. Uh, or as well as his little quill pen, where they use those little feathers for. So, yeah, that's a really nice tile to have. Looks in good condition. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, and a couple of my favourite uh, coloured ones are these, the trans green ones, the weed pieces. I think that's absolutely great. So I usually buy those when I can see them. A couple more of these to make some bushes under there. And these blue flowers are actually <laughs> for my mall, because the ones I used in this colour, because it's really hard to get them in bright light blue, are actually the smaller, more recent uh, type of flower head. Uh, to match all the others, I really need these big ones. So they might actually need to go into my mall, because I think I was uh, needing a couple more uh, and a pen as well, because they're always really useful. Brilliant. So that was a really good start. The main thing being these lights, but uh, yeah, really good. Uh, so I might as well push straight on to the second one. don't think I really need to adjust anything. There's not huge amounts of bricks that need sorting out or anything. So I can just plough straight on into ugh, the second bag. And wow, this one's got more stuff in it. There we go. Is that everything? Yeah. So it's not so much that there's a huge uh, variety of pieces here, just more a huge volume of certain ones. So you obviously had a lot of these weed pieces. Now, usually these cost about 20, 30p or something, but they are really cheap. Uh, he obviously got these as part of a, um, a pick a brick wall, I think, because I mean, bags of a hundred of them. Uh, so they were relatively cheap and I could make an absolute kelp forest with these. I mean, putting one on absolutely every stud and make a carpet. Uh, with other fish sort of bobbing in between them and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So it seems I have, well, 200 if these bags are right to their title. I can't remember what I bought, but um, I don't even remember buying this many. Uh, but yeah, that's how many I've got. So yeah, maybe I'll do a, a, a vertical wall of them. I don't really know. But I always think pieces like this look rubbish when there's sort of one or two of them. Well, they might look good in a stream, but um, having absolutely loads, all pointed different directions look even better. So I won't tip those out just because, well, I'll have to bag them straight back up again and <laughs> they're probably new, so I don't need to wash them. Uh, I've got a tutu dress in white. I can't even remember why I bought that. Uh, I don't think it's for the SSP. <laughs> um, I've got some white steering wheels. I probably needed one for uh, a power miners build or something like that. And well, they're about a penny each, so I've got four so I don't run out so quickly next time. I've got a great big one of these fence pieces. I used to collect these because I was going to do my whole uh, outside of my airport in these. So, well, it would be really secure. But then I realised, well, you can't really see anything that well through a great big barrier like this. But I'm still collecting them because I might use them under the sea. I and mean, imagine there were sort of sea monsters behind each of these and they were released sort of thing. Release the Kraken. That sort of vibe. So I was thinking that might work. So it wasn't uh, too dear and I've got a few already. So yeah, I thought I'd get one more. Uh, here's a nice, interesting piece, just a one by one, but it's got a Mandalorian on it. And that is from 75319, the Armourer's Mandalorian Forge from 2021, which is a super cool set. I think you'll agree with some fabulous minifigures. Maybe I should have bought that set. Uh, in its entirety. Uh, and this piece is just hidden behind one of the uh, uh, tools in that set around the corner. So uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just couldn't resist getting it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, yeah, I could get a, a... Well, I do have a scene with the uh, Din Djarin and uh, uh, Grogu sort of floating around <laughs> my city near the uh, uh, Chinese uh, restaurant. So maybe I'll do something uh, similar with this, maybe somebody's having a chat with him, uh, another Mandalorian. This is the way, yeah. So there we go, that's a nice piece to own, even if I haven't got massive plans for it. So yeah, maybe ideas for that one as well. Uh, now here's a nice interesting torso. It's kind of just a, a dark brown robe with a rope across it and some uh, gashes in it. I'll change the hands obviously to yellow and maybe that will just be at the neck the colour of an undershirt or something like that. Uh, and the reason I got this one was just to do something similar to my uh, Friar Tuck figure here that was sent in. Uh, just have another person maybe as a monk or something like that. Uh, maybe my castle scene when I eventually get to that. 
uh, not as part of the gang and maybe I can just have a monk as uh, you know going around there or a friar or something like that because it's a really really great idea so yeah I'm trying to replicate that again with a piece here so still more pieces to get but that's a good start so I like that now uh, that came from the cemetery warrior uh, in the set 7196 Chowchilla Cemetery Battle uh, from 2009 uh, from the uh, Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull uh, film set uh, everyone's absolute favorite I think you'll agree Indiana Jones film that the best by an absolute country mile uh, not so that is that uh, some of those I think they're about two peach I just got some I don't have any plans for them but sometimes I just see pieces that are kind of underpriced and I think right well if you don't want them <laughs> I guess I'll have them <laughs> so uh, there we go sand green one by three slopes very nice. They'll go in undersea cabinet. An absolute mountain of one by one uh, dark bluish grey bricks. Not modified ones or anything, just the bog standard ones. But, you know, you need a load of these building up your uh, uh, mountain walls and your uh, undersea walls. So I won't tip those out either. Save myself a job, though those probably are used and will need washing. Ah, now I didn't tell you what the reason for this uh, choosing this vendor was. Uh like I did with the other one. Uh, and it was because he's one of the very few people that had these uh, fiber optics pieces. So if you remember at the previous haul, I got this sort of monstrosity being the uh, fiber optic sort of central part of the um, Interstellar Starfighter from 1997, set 6979 uh, from the UFO line. And when I got this, if I just remind you of how that works, because it's super cool. Uh, essentially, I didn't have all eight of the fiber optics. So I was looking for somebody who had one, and this person had two. And I thought, just in case one didn't work or was old or chewed or something like that, I would get a spare one. So I have a spare, and now I have the full eight going round and round. And I'm going to do something interesting with that. It's just a, a real sort of dilemma whether I do something sort of sciencey or sort of evil baddie or something like that, some sort of device, or if I use it as some creature under the sea which is tempting as well if you hit this in rocks and then had a, a jellyfish body up here and had these sort of dangling off it then that would look pretty cool wouldn't it so yeah i'm torn between those two options so that's the reason why i chose this vendor and now i've got a spare one which can be kind of a transparent whip i suppose or something like that don't know but anyway fair enough another thing can't use these small bags again i got here which is pretty rare and usually very expensive. I mean, this was quite a good vendor, actually. They're all quite reasonable prices. Uh, was this little, <laughs> rather cute, I mean, it is frenzy, um, uh, seahorse. And it's the one with the lavender spots that came in the set 41430, Summer Fun Water Park from 2020, where it's up there on the left in the tower. Um, you can also get it in this colour and different colours with gold spots on where it's part of a sort of a, a character sort of cube type thing but um, I only really need one just to give a bit more variety in my cabinet and it's quite a good scale actually I quite like it it's a bit twee with the eyes but then again seahorses are a bit twee actually I think they almost look like they've got sort of <laughs> eyelashes on the actual one so uh, you know I don't think that matters so much so I'll just have that buzzing around maybe in a sort of kelp forest like this where it will stand out a great deal and look really good yeah, glad I got that. Yeah, so these are usually about £2. And I think this was less than £1. So not bad at all. Here's another rare piece. Well, no, maybe not too rare, actually. But it's, it's the body of a black shark. And it's the one with the, the gills on. It doesn't have a head because it will just fit the regular uh, grey heads that I've got plenty of. And in the set that this comes in, which is 76027, Black Manta, Deep Sea Strike from 2015, um, it kind of was like an electronic shark like the sharkinator that i've got that's bigger and let's face it better uh, but this one also had sort of guns attached to the bottom studs uh on its sides and so on with a dark bluish gray head with a sort of electronic sticker on the front i don't really want another sort of inferior in my mind version of the sharkinator so i thought i'd still buy the body though because it makes me think of that wonderful um and very very infeasibly rare uh black sawfish that came in the old set four 789 AT Aquatic Mech from 2002, which I'm definitely in the market for. 
So on the off chance that a black head comes available, which it definitely, definitely won't, but if, if one did come available, then I could just get the head and put it onto the slightly more updated body uh, and have a black sawfish. So that's sort of why I bought it. But I could also have this sort of swimming off into the distance and you wouldn't really know or even just add that dark bluish grey head uh, onto this one. Um, yeah, so a black shark body. Bit of an odd one to buy on its own, I appreciate. Right, and we've got... Ooh, Something else loose. This is one of those uh, train sort of uh, side bits that goes around the um, uh, motor. Uh, it's just the fact that I had one of these and not another that I got in a mixed lot somewhere way back. So I've always been on the lookout for a second one. Haven't really got a plan for it, but there's no point having one. You need two. So there we go. Marge Simpson head. There we go. There's the normal one from the Series 1 Marge Simpson, which I'm going to use as a coral for that bit. Try and conceal the bottom. I've done that before. Many people have done that. I think there's another Marge head in here, which will be the other one. Not that there's uh, any relevance to that from my perspective. This is the one from the Series 2, where they, uh, where she's got the lipstick on and so on. Uh, but anyway, they'll just be exactly the same, kind of side by side as some brain corals or something like that. And they've even got the pinhole in the top, so I can add a little fishy or something like that, swimming along. That'll be good. One more of these fins or leaves depending on how you look at it in the sand green very nice these must have been very cheap just some one by two cheese wedge pieces in the olive green they'll be fit into the sea as well put them over there quite a few of these just the angled light bluish gray version of the sort of corner tiles corner tiles corner slopes get it right come on robin this I bought for one pence, which is probably less than the bag that it comes in. But anyway, <laughs> it's a very odd piece. I just thought, I don't have one of those. I'll buy that. It's kind of a amalgam of a modified plate glued onto a two by four brick. But it's all one part. And I can just make that into, uh, build that into a, a rock face wall and have that sticking out, of course, and attach something else onto it. But um, I was just curious. And for a penny, why not uh, satisfy that curiosity? So that's that. Then I've got a bottle, but it's not just any bottle. Ooh. It's a ship in a bottle, and it's the really nice sailing ship one. So when I was very generously gifted the Silent Mary set um, uh, to go in my cabinet, 71042, the Silent Mary from 2017, uh, it was missing just a very few parts, and one of them was this ship in a bottle. So I've had it on my list since then uh, to get this one. Uh, and as you can see, it's in uh, Captain Jack Sparrow's hand in that picture. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it, really. But it's nice to have it now, so I've kind of got the complete set. Uh, it's a little bit worn, if anything. I can't see that sort of top mast all the way. That sort of flag at the top seems to be a bit detached, but it'll do. Uh, maybe I'll just have this for sale in a shop, uh, or maybe my pawnbroker shop or something like that would have something like this in it on a little sort of brown plinth or something like that for sale so anyway it's nice to have it was on my list so when you see it you gotta get it it's the best time to buy something when you see it just got a turban for one of my minifigures in my city this one's in dark red uh it came from the character gravis in the 71735 tournament of elements from 2021 I really should have just bought that set. I've bought so many individual parts from so many different places from that set, mainly focused on the minifigures because I'm not really into Ninjago set too much. Um, but yeah, uh, I've probably bought every part individually from about 20 different people. But anyway, it's nice to have that now so uh, I can make somebody with a different heritage or something like that going around my city. Very nice. Or even under the sea. I mean, it kind of could almost be a coral, couldn't it? So there we go. There's that. And then last, but not quite last, because I've got something else coming in a second. Um, I've got this very old big feather piece, which I absolutely love in this yellow colour. So, so back in the day, when it was the old castle sets, you get these little sprues with three feathers on. You get the tiny little one, like this fella's sporting over here. Whoop, knock over half of them. And what most of the uh, ones that you get nowadays, this sort of tiny little feather, you get the three-pronged one, where you've kind of got one going forward and two going back or something like that. And you get this great big thick one as well. Uh, and you don't really get those anymore. So I thought I would get one just to give a bit of variation on my band of merry men. So this guy who's got the yellow one could have a big fat yellow one. <laughs> 
who's got a much bigger feather than everyone else. Very flamboyant indeed. <laughs> and I think that's right. I think that looks suitably silly and therefore very cool in my mind. So yeah, I really like that. So put that back with all of these. Oh, keep knocking everyone over. So yeah, a big yellow replacement feather for that one. Uh, so that is all of my BrickLink packages, and I'm very happy with all of those. It was great to get that. It just seemed there were so few of them that I had to really pounce on that straight away. And, well, same with the Power Functions lights. There's so few of those I felt I had to pounce. And I think that given I've been to just two separate stores for two items, really, I've got quite a lot of diversity. I'm absolutely loving the little seahorse. Can't wait to put her in my cabinet. Uh, I've got loads of colour for other interesting pieces, some project pieces for that train build, uh, back of a black shark, not too uh, sure about. Well, that target's really good, isn't it? I'm happy with that. Uh, some minifigure pieces, surfboard for my collection and my addictions. Yeah, really good. But the other thing I got this week was brand new and was from Amazon. I think I can drive it in here. It's basically the police truck that comes with the uh, 60369 Mobile Police Dog Training Unit. Uh, and this is quite a good set, actually. I didn't buy it for the truck, but it's quite good with its sticker on the back, and you've got a bit that can take all the kit, and you've got a trailer as well with some dog food bowls and enough space on the trailer to take all of the other equipment that we'll see in a minute. So we'll probably see this on the streets of Brick Nottingham, maybe without the trailer, uh, and it's making good use of the neon uh, new colour now, the neon yellow. So that's looking pretty good. I do like that sticker on the side. So I'm happy with that. Uh, but the main reason I bought it wasn't that, as you'll no doubt appreciate if you've uh, looked at the pictures of that set. I bought it for duh, 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 the wonderful side build, <laughs> which is just packed and stacked full of awesomeness, if you ask me, uh, and colour. So we'll have to try and incorporate this into the city somewhere. So ideas for that. Uh, but yeah, we've got the wonderful attack suit which I don't think is going to come on Lego Bricks and Pieces I think you probably have to buy this set to get it and when I got this there was some weird voucher thing going on Amazon so the whole set was uh 10 pounds which I thought yeah gone then uh I'll have to do it for that but um yeah so there's this guy acting as a sort of target for dog training and he's in these uh, padded arms so he doesn't get uh, hurt uh, and those arms obviously are from the uh, series 18 cactus girl in a different color so that's a really good use of that. I mean, you just look at him with that helmet on and that winky face and think, yeah, that is a really good scene. Uh, we've also got the adult dog with the blue harness on now. So that's really nice. You could give that to another blind person walking around or maybe just somebody who's walking a very vigorous, excitable dog. So that's good. And then, best of all, we got this little chap. Oh, look at him. And it's surprising how much poop uh, one little dog can make. I think you'd agree. <laughs> Uh, and then these are all removable and movable. Oh, I've just catapulted him. That was interesting. Um, so you can switch them around to make different setups of that or load them all onto the back of the trailer that we saw earlier. Uh, and we've got a little jump with a bar that can move uh, here and get knocked off and so on. And we've got these three steps you can go up and that. But my favourite is definitely the... Um, the dog catapult, where you can put a baby dog on there and then uh, fire it across the room. I didn't do a very good job there, uh, but other people have called it a seesaw, but I definitely think that it's a dog catapult. So let's try and see if we can catapult, yay, a baby dog across the room. So that's what I'm gonna be using it for <laughs> when it's not making loads and loads of huge uh, dog poops. But yeah, so that's a great set. So I'm looking forward to adding that in a scene maybe where this dog is mauling this guy, or maybe I'll get my whole uh, dog collection I've got kind of out near the ice cream van. Maybe they'll all be chasing and mauling this guy. Uh, maybe I've, I just thought this, this would be a good scene. Give him a terrified face and maybe he's on the floor and maybe they're all piling on and he's, uh, you know, a victim of his own success. <laughs> Not training police dogs, but just getting mauled by everyone else's dog. So, yeah. A dog attack. Why not have a light-hearted uh, scene based on that, huh? Mm, go figure. Anyway, so uh, yeah, a really good set. Oh, golly, sorry, not my camera there. Uh, I really like that. Uh, but I think the really good stuff, as you'll agree, is in that. So that combined with all of this, it's been a really good haul. <laughs> So I think you'll agree, a lovely haul full of lovely pieces. I'm just noticing a few things I didn't even mention, like these sort of sword pieces for plants under the sea. 
I hope I didn't miss too much else. <laughs> but anyway, uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think I'm going to try and push ahead more with my deep sea cabinet. So if you're a fan of that, do uh, look out for the next video coming along soon, hopefully. Uh, and uh, whatever else we get up to after that is anyone's guess. But until then, see you. Yeah, that is going to be really good for the SSP.